Okay, here I've got a pretty complex Sokotoa question. I know it's going to be a tough one because I've got three triangles in the same question, in the same problem. And what they're looking for is the angle marked X all the way over here in the shape. And I say all the way over here because the information that we can work with at first is only in the triangle that has two bits of information, not one. See in this one, all I've got is a side length. I can't solve for the angle. This middle triangle, all I've got is an angle. I can't find any side lengths. So I've got to start over here. I'm going to start by labeling my triangles. So I've got triangle one, triangle two, and triangle three, just so I can stay organized. And the trick here is trying to figure out which side lengths do these shapes share. So here I can see that this side, I'm going to call it A, this side is shared between triangle one and triangle two. This side, I'm going to call B, is shared between triangle two and triangle three. So as soon as I find this side length, I can come over and work into triangle two. As soon as I find use that information to find this side length, now I'd be ready to come over and work in triangle three to find my missing angle. So I'm going to start the only place I can, and that's working in triangle one. So I'm going to redraw it just to make my life a little bit easier, make it a little bit more clear. I know I've got a 40 degree angle, a side length of 10, and what I'm looking for is going to be this right over here because that's that shared side between triangle one and triangle two. So I know that once I draw that out and I decide which angle I'm working with, which will be this 40 degree angle, I can label. Here's my hypotenuse because it's across from the 90. Across from the angle is my opposite side and the third side we call adjacent. Now I can see here that I know the adjacent side. I want the opposite side. That means out of so ka and toa, I want to work with the O and the A opposite and adjacent. So that's going to be toa. To find this side length now, all I need to do is write out tan of the angle, which is 40 degrees, equals opposite x divided by adjacent, which is 10. Now on these, they're always the same. I set up an equivalent fraction so I can cross multiply. And here I just type it in the way I see it. So 10, 40 times 10 divided by 1. I multiply my diagonal values and divide by the third one. That's going to give me the missing value. Press equals 8.390996. I'm going to leave all those decimals all the way up to 8.390996 equals x. The reason that I'm going to leave all those decimal places is because my final answer over here, I'm going to end up rounding to the nearest integer. Until I get to that final answer, I don't want to do too much rounding because it's going to give me an inaccurate um, answer at the end. So while I'm working, I've got to stay as accurate as I possibly can. So remember, this 8.390996 is the measurement for this side right here. And I can see that's a side that's shared in triangle 2. So if I come around to work in triangle 2 now, and I'll redraw it so it's a little bit easier. There's my right angle. This one's given as 50 degrees. That's this right here. This side I now know is 8.390996. And now what I'd be looking for is this side here that's shared between triangle 2 and triangle 3. And that's this spot, this side right here. Now, once I've got a triangle to work with, I choose the angle. I'm going to work with the 50, and I label. So here's my hypotenuse over here because it's across from the 90-degree angle. Across from the 50, I call this side opposite, and the third side gets called adjacent. So out of so ka and toa, I want opposite. I have hypotenuse. That's the O. And the H, O and H are in the first one here. So I'm going to write it out. Sin of 50 degrees, right? It's the sin of the angle equals opposite divided by hypotenuse X divided by 8.390996. Same thing I always do. I'm going to create equivalent fractions here so I can cross multiply to find this unknown value. So I'm going to do sin 50 sin 50 times 8.390996 
divide that by 1 and get 6.42787. Uh, how do I want to round that? I'm going to write 6.4279. Notice here I've got 42787. Beside this 8, getting pretty close to 9 here, so I'm going to write 6.42789. To be safe, you could always leave that entire decimal and work with that. So now I have the side length that I needed to be able to move over and work in this third triangle here. So now my third triangle, if I redraw that, it looks like this. This side is the one I just found, 6.4279. The angle is what I need, and 14.5 is given in the question. So, like we always do, figure out which angle we're working with in SOHCAHTOA. Obviously, if I'm finding an angle, that's the angle I'm working with. So I can label the triangle. Across from my 90 is hypotenuse. Across from the angle is opposite. And the third side is called adjacent. So out of so ka and toa, I have adjacent, I, I have hypotenuse, and I want the angle. I'm going to work with the A and the H. Those are in ka. So if I write that out, the cosine or cos of x degrees is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Adjacent 6.4279 divided by hypotenuse 14.5. Again, just out of habit, I'm going to create equivalent fractions by putting that side over 1. Multiply my diagonals, divide by the other. So I've got 1 times 6.4279 divided by 14.5. That equals the cos of x degrees equals 0 0.44330 and to get rid of the costs I need to press shift costs on the calculator to get that cos of negative 1 press equals and I've got an angle of 63.6 x degrees equals 63.6. They asked me to round that to the nearest integer. That's the nearest non-decimal number. So I've got to look one space to the right. That's the first spot after the decimal. If it's 5 or up, this number rounds up by 1. So x is equal to 64 degrees. And that's the answer they were looking for.